How's it going everyone? This is High Yield MCAT and today we're going to be taking a look at a document that I think is very valuable but very few people know about and that's going to be what's on the MCAT, all rights reserved of course, exam and this is made by the double AMC who are our de facto overlords, the Association of American Medical Colleges. Now what's super useful about this and we'll skip a lot of the kind of nitty-gritty in the introduction here. I'd like to show you kind of the first relevant part that's going to be, let's see, on page 26 here. So on page 26 we see something interesting. We have a foundational concept. There's kind of a lot of words here, but what's really interesting is we get down to the nuts and bolts of what's going to actually appear in the MCAT, especially in this right hand column here. We see our amino acids, which is our number one highest yield thing we're going to see on the MCAT. And we also see a lot of specifics, so absolute configuration at the alpha position, something we discovered, uh, we discussed, excuse me, in our amino acids introduction video. So if you haven't seen that, feel free to click the link in the upper right hand corner to go check out my comprehensive amino acids playlist. We also see amino acids as dipolar ions, so that's the Zwitter ionic part of amino acids. So things that we cover in this channel are going to correspond to this exact document, and it's going to tell you what's going to show up on the MCAT. Now one thing that this document doesn't tell you is the yield of things. So for example, probably non-enzymatic protein functions like motors, so maybe kinesin and dynein those aren't going to be as high yield as something, say, amino acids. So this document is a bit more of a binary yes or no, whether something is fair game to show up on the MCAT. But it's still a very valuable document. If you go through, you can see all the different things you need to know. And hypothetically, even without any third party, you could go through this content list, maybe even go on YouTube and search all these different concepts up and be able to do pretty well on the MCAT, you know, just with the double AMC materials. Um, of course, there's a ton of content to go over, but hopefully you've seen this a lot um, in other different undergrad classes and things like that. So I just thought it would be interesting to do a little sweep um, through this and show you guys. So lots of biology content. Um, you got our periodic table that we'll use. So this is, the periodic table is going to be nice because this is what will actually show up on the MCAT interface on test day. So this is a nice little nugget of information that we have here. And then we can also get into other subjects as well. So chemical and physical foundations, as well as the biological, biological um, and biochemical foundations. So we're even seeing specific equations here. So if the, these are showing up in our right-hand column, these are equations we definitely want to have memorized. So, for example, our work done by a constant force, W equals FD cosine of theta. Our kinetic energy, KE equals 1 half mv squared. Things we definitely want to have memorized. Um, so this is all really, really good stuff. And again, if you see something on here and you're not sure if it's super relevant to the MCAT, uh, feel free to leave a comment in one of my videos asking me, is this super high yield, medium yield, low yield? How much time should I spend studying it? Feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can, probably within a couple of days at, uh, at maximum. So I usually respond a lot quicker. But just rolling through, we can see all the different things we need to know for the MCAT exam. Now it is 111 page document, which can seem pretty intimidating. Um, and now we're getting to the psycho psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. So we can see how much content is on the MCAT. At the same time, a lot of this is kind of fluff, just um, quite frankly, a lot of saying the same things over and over again. So categorizing things like, you don't need to memorize category 7A, 7B, 7C, etc. But it does help to know, you know, what the forebrain does, what the midbrain generally does, and what the hindbrain does, things like that. So this right-hand column is definitely going to be a good guide to knowing kind of that binary, is it going to show up on the MCAT, or is it not fair game to show up on the MCAT? 
If it doesn't show up on this list, it won't show up on the MCAT, which is pretty powerful. So something I just wanted to show you guys today. Um, and yeah, pretty extensive document. So they even have a little bit about cars here at the end as well. That's it for High Yield MCAT. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topic you would like to see next. Also feel free to check out my free amino acid playlist that can be found in the link below.